to Good Food Goes Bad video book. Ways to keep food from spoiling with Funky Fairy. Wu cleans the kitchen. He sees some spoiled food. Wu wonders, why does good food go bad? Suddenly, Funky Fairy appears. I can help answer that. Funky explains. See the spoiled bread? Mold grows on it. Mold is a fungus. So are mushrooms. Fungus grows in moist places. Wu smiles. That is why there is no mold on this dry toast. Yes, says Funky. Do you know that yeast fungus makes bread dough fluffy? Baking kills the yeast. Wu looks at a near empty milk container. What makes this milk taste sour and smell bad? Funky said, watch out, don't drink it, it will make you sick. To understand what makes good milk go bad, let's go on a little trip. Funky waves her magic wand. Funky points. See that green palm scum? It is a tiny life form called bacteria. Funky teaches, there are many kinds of bacteria. They are all around us. Bacteria are so small that it takes special microscopes for us to see bacteria. With another wave of her wand, they are back in the kitchen. Over time, bacteria in the milk grows and turns the milk sour. Wu asks, Is there something we can do to keep milk from going bad? Funky replies, Yes! After milk comes from the cow, the milk is heated to kill bacteria. Next, we keep milk in the fridge to slow down bacteria. The sell-by date tells us how long the milk is good to drink. Some bacteria make us sick, like sore throats and other ear aches. Other bacteria are helpful. Good bacteria also turn milk into yogurt and cheese. Excited Wu points to the rotten fruit and vegetables. What happened here? Did fungus and bacteria spoil them? Funky replies. Let's see. We cut these fresh apples and bananas. Eat a few and put the rest on this plate. Fungi waves her magic wand. Suddenly, it is several hours later. Wu sees how the fruit pieces turn brown. Funky explains, air changed the chemicals in the food. Funky said, over time, air, fungus, and bacteria spoil the fruit and vegetable. Putting food in the fridge keeps it fresher for longer. Funky explains, it is important to keep food clean too. This reduces fungus and bacteria. Also, food crumbs attract insects and animals. They spoil food too. Wu asks, How do we keep good food from going bad and spoiling? With a flash, Funky and Wu are in the kitchen of a restaurant. Funky teaches everyone needs to keep food clean. This keeps us and customers from getting sick and spoiled food. Here are some tips on how to keep good food from spoiling. Clean, can, cover, cool and cold, cook, close. Let's look at this grocery store. Funky points out that some food is in cans. Food is canned to keep air out. Canned food lasts longer. The cool and cold temperature keep the food fresh. It prevents fungus and bacteria from spoiling the food. Cooking helps preserve food by killing fungus and bacteria. Wu notices how many food, such as his favorite cookies, are covered. Covering food keeps the air out. Wu walks down the cereal aisle and sees that the packages are closed. The closed cereal boxes keep the cereal dry and air out too. Yes, Funky agrees. Also, spices like salt and chili powder help preserve the food too. Wu said, so hot countries like Mexico, India, and Thailand have spicy food to keep the food from spoiling. Funky and Wu return to the home kitchen. They wash their hands and cook dinner for Wu's family. Wu talks about the ways to keep food fresh. To close, Funky reminds us these words are ways to keep food from spoiling. Clean, can, cool and cold, cook, cover, and close. With a wand wave, Funky Fairy is gone. Wu smiles. I am sure glad that there are so many ways to keep good food from going bad.